Hello and welcome back to my garage. Uh, today we're going to continue the project with the step-by-step -step tuning E-Tech 800. And I already mounted the WeForce rigs. That is going to be in the first step of uh, two steps today. We're going to continue after the WeForce rigs. We're going to do the Wi-Fi from D&D. &D. And uh, we ended up last time, which, uh, we started with 149.6 horsepower, and we ended up with 156.7 with the Bondi box and some ignition. So we're just gonna run it now and see what happens. Now we're gonna run the first run for today, and it's uh, with the Bondi box, with the WeForce reeds. One and a half degrees of ignition and 4% of extra fuel, only on the top. So let's run it and see what happens. Horsepower we got. So we reach a hundred and fifty seven point six horsepowers. So what did we have last time? <laughs> I rolled it up here. We gained one horsepower. One, one horsepower on the weak horse reeds. Not that much, but still plus. We're gonna look the fuel just to see what if we have something to get there or if we're in the same same spot last this last time. We are pretty lean. Actually, so I think we're gonna add some fuel and see if we can get a little bit more horsepower. Uh, this is test number two for the day. Uh, I only added some extra fuel because I think the engine was running a bit lean. So we'll just run it and see what happens if we gain or lose, lose horsepower or whatever happens. Change some values here for the temperature. There's only 28 degrees intake. Oh, let's see. 155.6 on 7,800 RPM. So uh, I put on too much fuel, and that's the reason why we lost power. So we're gonna go back to the other. Uh, settings for the fuel and we're gonna change the Y pipe and see if we can gain some horsepower by that 
The Wii Force Reads only gave one horsepower, so not so good. Now I'm gonna keep the Reads. Uh, it was probably not too lean, it's just me who thought it was lean, but when I put on 2% extra fuel, the peak went down, and uh, we're gonna see what the AFR went to, but we lost power immediately, so. And the AFR is still still in the same range, so I think I need to... Oh, it's good. It's like 13.5 around that. It's, um, it's the same as the last time. So I think I need to recalibrate uh, the AFR maybe when I have out the pipe out, so we'll see that everything is all right. It's been in there a couple of days, so you can set the value a little bit off. But we'll see. So, now we mount the Y pipe from D&D &D and uh, we're just gonna run it. Yeah, and uh, I mounted some uh, exhaust gas temperature sensors on the Y pipe. I just welded it there because when I had it loose and all that. So we can uh, see what exhaust temperature we have. And they can help us with the tuning and see if we're lean or rich or anything like that. So just fire it up and let's give it a go. connect the, the temperature sensor for the air intake. Yeah, it's there now. See if it do if it does the check engine before we go again. Yeah. We need to cool cool it off a little bit, so we'll be right back. And the engine is cold down, so let's run it and see if we, what happens. made 155.9 horsepower on 7850 rpms and uh, it it really this it wasn't good at all we'll see what what the oh this says Mm. 
I think that um, something is really not working now. I think I maybe I know the problem because the Y pipe is um, it has a different uh, bushing on the Y pipe and it makes the exhaust a little bit longer and I think that can be the problem because uh, it makes the RPM go down and uh, the exhaust just doesn't work as it's supposed to do it gets off because th this didn't work at all we, we lost three horsepowers and uh, at the same uh, air fuel ratio or the AFR ratio as we used to have so it's not good at all really bad yeah. today didn't turn up the way we wanted to uh, the V force we can't do that much about it just doesn't work so good it gave us one horsepower gain it's it's not the worst thing that can happen the worst thing that can happen was this when we put it on the Wi-Fi and we expected some some horsepower gains and it went to shit we lost three horsepowers maybe even more four horsepowers maybe and uh, I think Maybe I know the problem, but I remembered when we bought that Y pipe that they sent a new muffler to it, and this muffler is a little bit bigger, so it goes a little bit more over the Y pipe, and that makes the exhaust system shorter. So I think that is the problem, maybe with the Y pipe, so we shouldn't rule it out just yet. But uh, time is over and it's late at night, so we're gonna go home and uh, think about this. And uh, maybe next time I will try to weld this on the pipe and make it the correct length. So I will measure, so I have the exact same length as when uh, the original Y pipe. And I hope it will work. Have a good time and see you next time.